Hey guys, Mousy here. Today I am reviewing The Truth About Monsters, which is a Dragon Age Inquisition RPG. Cap has asked that I have a look at the appearance, the layout, the structure of the site, how easy it is to read and to navigate, and just little bits and pieces um, and see anything that I can give advice for. So the first thing that I notice, being here on the first load, is the sea box in the top right left. Um, immediately I can see that there's a bit of a community feel, very supportive, um, very enthusiastic for each other. That's the real impression that you want to make from the outset. You want people to feel like they can come here and be part of a family, that they won't be shut out, um, and that they, they can come here and have fun, basically. Really lovely header there, the title stated very easily, very clear, very crisp. I'm not entirely sure, is that a suit of armour? I think it is, but it doesn't matter because it looks cool. Okay, so the next thing, we've got this little banner here, which is... That's very cool. A lot of, I think the fonts here are a little bit small, probably. Um, just sitting back from where I normally do on my computer, they are quite hard to read. It's only because I pretty much know what I expect to be there that I have any real idea of what I'm seeing. And then you've got the contrast of these giant headers here. So something I would suggest is if you were to bring the padding down on this here, so you've got your main title, if you bring that padding down from 75, I would probably go down to 15. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring your entire forum up and you can really see what's going on. Because you don't want people to load and just see giant spaces of nothing. The other thing I would do is probably bring this font size up a bit, probably up to 11. You might need to extend or shove things down a little bit, but it's just going to make it a whole lot easier to read and a lot easier for people to sort of work their way up. Um, this could entirely be my old eyes, but I don't see a whole lot. You could change that to members to get that onto one line, but I really don't think it interferes with the look of the site that much at that size. 11's not a huge font either. It's quite small in terms of readability and especially when you've got all caps you really want to make it as clear as possible. It's awesome that you've got those quick links there but when you've got them hidden down in, in small font, we'll refresh it again and I'll show you the difference. So we've got that smaller main title and the bigger things. When you go back to that, maybe you can see the difference. It's quite hard to read. So, going down your structure, you've got your main information there, your announcements, plotting stuff, and help. Excellent. You've got your application systems here, you've got your plotting here, and now finally we get down into the actual RP side of things. I would probably switch that a little bit. I would probably put... Uh, probably at least one of these down to the bottom. Um, I would probably move... There's, there's a lot here, is essentially what I'm saying. You probably sh put this into a subforum in here somewhere. Just condense it down a little bit so that you've, you don't have that massive scroll down to your main, the main area of your forum. This is what you really want to draw attention to. You really want people to see the, that you're there, you're active, there are people posting. And you've got your out of character down here, which is generally where I like it. I really love these layouts that we've got for board statistics now. Really, really nice. You've got 73 members, which is awesome. That's a really, really good solid number. Especially for, I think you said this was a fairly new site, so really, really well done on that front. Aside from those nitpicking things, um, the background image is an excellent quality. It fits perfectly. You do have a repeat here, so you might want to look into either 
getting a longer image. Uh, my screen's fairly, fairly average size. It's 22 inch. Um, the higher resolution screens are going to really shrink that down, and it's going to really obviously look like a tile. Another thing you could do is you could put it to one side, fade it out in Photoshop, and have it sort of as an overlay. There, are, there are a few things that you could do. Um, but mostly I'm not noticing it too much, but if it does bother you, there are different things that you can do to get around that. So I love this with the images, very cool. Um, I'm not so sure about having this space here. It feels like it needs to have something, whether you're going to put a little blurb there about that area or something, it does feel a little bit unbalanced. Um, but visually it's it's quite pleasing and these are quite good. I love these little side links and, and all that sort of stuff. Alright, so that's that's your basic forum structure and your appearance from first impressions. Again you've got your quite small font here um, which I don't think you would suffer too much for bumping up a little bit. Uh, what have we got? It is on... it's on 11. That's not terrible. It is a little bit harder to read without the... okay so you wouldn't want to go as high as 13 but maybe 12. Um, it can be harder to read without the capitalization in there. That does make it a bit harder to follow. But aside from that it's it's not the most important text on your forum, but it's worth thinking about. So we'll head into rules. I'll get rid of that. Now this is a little bit problematic for me. Firstly, you've got all of this. You've got so much space where you can spread that out and really have your text make an impact. I would I would use it. As good as that white space looks, it's not doing anything for you. So let's have a look. You've got all of that padding, see? Main content. You've got a margin of 40. So even reducing that to 10 is going to make a massive difference. It doesn't look any that different visually, but it does bring things into a much better size paragraph, if that makes sense. The actual text itself, again, this skin seems to have a lot of very small fonts. I would, I would be bumping those up where you can, and that might just be my old eyes. It probably is just my old eyes, but it's worth thinking about. The second thing that would be worth thinking about is the way that it's written. Um, rules and guidelines, if you can, get them into dot points. This I would probably load up, look at, and be very concerned about making it all the way through without losing focus. You want your rules to be concise, to the point, um, Headings, bolds, anything like of that nature is really, really, really useful. Um, so something like this, you could condense down to, you know, you don't need knowledge, but we do encourage it for canon characters. You don't need to explain every little thing. If people do have questions, they will come and ask. Um, but yeah, or even just bolding the important parts, so the minimum word count, so that people can scan it, know what paragraph pertains to what, and really understand what your expectation is. So that it's, it's all quite straightforward. It is a bit of a slog to read, purely because you've got the big block paragraphs there. And it's not so much a thing of laziness, it's, it's a psychological thing. You walk in and you see a 
giant paragraph or a giant wall or anything like that and you immediately start to wonder how you're going to tackle it um, and whether you can make it through. So I would consider putting some sort of yeah, bolds, emphasis, break it, cutting it down as much as you can and just really bringing it down to what you really really want people to know. Anything extra you can have in a second backup topic that's got a lot more detail on your different different rule sets and such. But for your first most important reading sort of things, you really want to keep it as simple and easy as possible. I do love that you've got this here. Um, so as soon as people finish scrolling down, they can go straight to get started on your application. So let's have a look at that. This is a good, this is awesome. Um, I would get rid of the X's. I know that they're links. I would find a better way to do that because when you've got the reserve lists here, you've got three X's there and you there's no understanding of what they are, what that means. Um, so yeah, maybe even dropping that to the next line, having a dot point, the reserve, li reserve list type and have that linked. I would, I would use these words as the links and then bold them so that people know what, what to click rather than just having these X's on the end because you really want people to understand what they're going into. It's a nice little application. I love the freestyle bit. Um, 800 words is a fairly decent it's about essay size. If that's the expectation, that's the expectation. Um, there's nothing really wrong with that. I love that you've got these where people can see them so that they have some idea of what they might have. I never like the word denied. And this comes back to my the way the way that I do things. Um, I would completely get rid of denied. I always go with pending. The thing about having pending is you can ask for as many changes as you want until the player either gets it to a standard that suits your board or chooses not to progress with the application. The minute you start saying flat out denied, you're not giving people a chance to keep going to work with you and get that application in. Um, even if even if there's nothing redeemable about the application, pending is always a better way to do it. Um, it puts the onus on the applicant to bring themselves up to your standard, pretty much. Um, yeah, den denied is probably, I, I would say it's too harsh. I think there's always a way to work together to, to to keep that conversation going between you and the applicant until you've you've really established whether this is the right fit for them. Um, but yeah, pending and incomplete are really good ways to get around that. Obviously, accepted is a is a thing, but um, if if you were to get rid of denied, I th I feel like that would be a I, I don't like it. Um, it can be quite elitist in ways as well, but that's entirely up to you. So your application process is quite straightforward, which is always good. I love that you've got the whole plot thing happening and all of that. Okay, so let's have a look at your plot. Again, you've got the big block paragraphs, which is fine for a plot. Um, I like that you've sort of broken them up a bit. Again, with all these, all the space around around the edges, there's a lot of spacing in this skin that looks nice, but it's not functional. You really want to make sure that anything on the board that looks nice still works effectively. Otherwise, 
it's superfluous. It's it's all well and good to have something that is nice to look at, but the point of a forum roleplay is to read and to write and to create a story. It's not to sit around looking at, at pretty sights, as fun as that also is. So let's have a look at your need to know. Okay, so all of this is topics that you would need to read before going into the game. Whoa, this is intense. I haven't seen a forum game use this before, a full dice system, so this is pretty cool. I would be very, very interested to see how this works in in practice. But the way that this is laid out is beautiful. You've got your dot points, it's easy to follow, you've got your bolded terms, so you can really, really follow where things are going on. I would suggest doing something along these lines with your other informational topics. Um, tables are also really good for stuff like this. So as, as intense and overwhelming as this information could be, it's being laid out in the best way. Um, so massive points to you on that one. Post templates. I don't understand post templates, but that's also fine. Um, okay. Ah, yep. Mature content warning is good. So I don't, I don't fully understand all of this stuff, but you've got. You've got your way of doing things um, quite colour coded, and I imagine that makes it very, very easy to follow stuff as well. These are very tiny. I do like the disclaimer there, that's very good. See, again, headings are fantastic. You've got your little topics. Yep, awesome. Now, this one, I would again encourage you to use some more bold, cut it down where you can. Um, because yeah, you've got the justified paragraphs which can be very, very hard to read, especially in size 11. So yeah, it does look good. Um, a lot of the problems that I'm having are with, well they're not problems, they're just stylistic choices that I probably wouldn't make um, is this, yeah, this big space here and the tiny text there and a few little bit bits and pieces and you've got your Q&A this is well laid out I would break that paragraph up a bit where you can but um, otherwise it's very clear that's the question that's the answer Yeah, overall it looks very good. Um, it's just yeah, a few way, a few of the ways that the text is presented in places probably needs a bit of tidying up, a bit of cutting down, and a little bit of formatting to make it a bit easier to follow. So let's have a look at some of this. I love them giant avatars though. They look awesome. If I was a new member coming to have a look at this, if I was a Dragon Age fan, which I've 
played a little bit of the first one, so I I couldn't call myself a fan in any sense at all. Um, I would probably be put off a little bit by the amount of text that is required to read before joining. I would find that quite intimidating. I'd probably be intimidated by the 800 word count. Not because I can't do it. Not because I wouldn't do it. Um, just because the minute you say 800 words, it sounds like a lot. It's not a lot. It's quite easy to do when you're not thinking about it, but when you're panicking about having to write 800 words, then it becomes a problem. Um, so even if you brought that down to five or 600 or something like that, people will do 800. They'll do 800 easily. They'll get carried away and in love with their characters and they'll write until the cows come home. Um, but the minute you say 800, it's like telling someone not to think of elephants. They will think of elephants straight away. It's, it just, it can be very overwhelming. But yeah, it's, it's a beautiful site that you've got here. Back to structure. Yeah, see so even this space here, where you can bring that down, I, I would advise bringing it down. It's very spaced out. It looks nice. There is nothing wrong with how it looks. It just does make it a very, very long scroll. So we'll just test it over an edge as well. Because sometimes things don't work as well in edge as they do in others. I know a lot of people don't use edge. I know that's pretty much Firefox or Chrome. Um, but I like to test it in different browsers just in case. And if anything's going to ro go wrong, it will go wrong with Edge. This is quite smooth, which is awesome. So yeah, it's there's nothing wrong with anything that you've done here. Just a few tweaks that I think you could make to help newbies get in and really boost the, the function of the forum as opposed to the form of it. Um, always keep in mind that if you can't read and if you can't write, then there's not much point being a, an RP forum. So yeah, uh, boost text sizes a little bit in places, cut down some of that padding in the margins, that's pretty much it. Um, otherwise it's, it's a beautiful forum and well done and it looks like you're having a lot of success already so I wish you all the best